So you have a Samsung Galaxy A23 and you have an issue where if you got your password or PIN or pattern. So I'm going to show you how to do a factory reset, okay? The only thing is don't forget with a factory reset, you guys will lose all your personal information, your personal settings, your photos, your videos. So hopefully you have a backup, okay? But anyway, once we go ahead and uh, do the factory reset, you'll be able to make a new PIN and everything, all right? Now another, another very important thing too is um, if you have a Gmail or basically a Google account synced to the to this phone, once you do the factory reset, then once you start going through setup, eventually it's going to ask you, uh, well, it's going to ask you what your PIN is but or your password. Of course, you don't know that, but it'll also ask you for your Gmail or Google account, um, the account name and the password, okay? That's if you had a Google account synced to this phone. So if I have a, I have, I do have a Google account synced to this phone right now. My password is not working. Once I do the factory reset, and then I start going through the setup again, eventually I'm going to get to a point where because I had my email or my Gmail synced, uh, synced to this phone, it's going to for me to finish setup. It's going to ask me either to use my PIN, which I don't know, or my Gmail along with my Gmail password. Okay, so. The first thing to note is that you will need a computer, PC, or laptop. doesn't matter if it's a Windows or a Mac or an Apple. You will also need your charging cable, okay, the charging slash syncing cable. So first thing is uh, we'll just go ahead and plug in your charging cable into your computer or laptop or whatnot. The next thing is, so the next thing is we're going to go ahead and plug our phone in into our phone like this. Okay, now. This is what we have to do. So what we're going to do is listen carefully. So it's plugged in. It's plugged into my my computer here. And what we're going to do is we're going to press two keys. All right, press and hold two keys. The volume down and the power button. We want to press and hold volume down to power, and hold it and count to 12 seconds. After 12 seconds, let go of only the volume down, and then press and hold the power button. Never taking your finger off the uh, power button. Okay. So keep hold. Then you just keep holding the volume up and power. Just hold it until the Samsung uh, logo appears. Then let go. Okay. So we're gonna do this together. So everything is plugged into the computer. Okay. Volume down. Power button. Ready. Set. Go. Count to twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then hold volume up. Now I'm holding power button and volume up. Just keep holding both buttons until we see a Samsung logo. Sometimes you have to, okay, there's Samsung logo, let me let go. If I didn't get it, then I'm gonna try it again, okay? Sometimes instead of 12 seconds, maybe you gotta do it 10 seconds, 14 seconds, okay? Anyway, I did it. So now what we're doing here is this, boot is, this booted us up into the uh, Android recovery menu. And from here, we can do a factory reset. You can move up or down using the volume up and down rockers. So we can go down to white data slash factory reset, okay? So if we want to factory reset this phone, uh, to select it, press on the power button. So we'll tap on the power button. And then this right here says, uh, this cannot be undone. Once we do this, um, you, you won't be able to undo it, okay? So if you want to proceed with the factory reset, we're going to go down to factory reset right here. Now, don't forget, before you guys press this factory reset, if you had a Gmail um, a sync to this phone, you will need that Gmail address as along with the password in order to complete the setup, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and proceed here, factory data reset. I'm gonna select the power button to proceed. Okay, it said white data complete. Now it defaults us back up to here. The blue line, it says restart system now, which is exactly what we want. So we're gonna tap on the power button right here. And now we're gonna give it like two or three minutes, let it go ahead and perform the factory reset. So just be patient here. It'll be stuck on here for a little bit. And voila, we are in business now. Now, don't forget, if you guys had a um, Gmail account synced to this phone, as you're going through the setup, like three quarters near the end of setup, it's going to ask you what that Gmail was along with the password, okay? Good luck, guys.